Warner Brothers Discovery are making a huge decision that will massively impact the DCU. Hey everyone, welcome back to our movie news. There hasn't been much DC news released in the past week, so instead of a DC summary video, we have one normal video dedicated to the only news released this week which is regarding DC Studios and is actually pretty big news on its own. This news has come from The Hollywood Reporter, the most trustworthy source in the business. They report that DC Studios will set its primary production hub at Warner Brothers Studios Leavesden in London. As many Harry Potter fans may know, Warner Brothers Studios Leavesden is the home of the making of Harry Potter, but now Leavesden Studios will be the home of DC Studios. Technically, Leavesden isn't in London, it's in the county of Hertfordshire which is just outside of London, but for the sake of non-UK fans who aren't aware of the different counties in the UK, I will just say London. The Hollywood Reporter claims the lot will have 29 stages and 1.7 8 million square feet of production space. DC Studios co-chief executives James Gunn and Peter Safran will consult on the project. The project is expected to break ground in the second quarter of 2024 and finish in 2027. Now for those of you asking why they have decided to head over to the UK, well it appears that like most decisions Warner Brothers Discovery makes, it has been incentivized by money. The UK has emerged as a major hub for studios and streamers, largely thanks to generous tax incentives and its proximity to a large pool of talent. Production in 2019 reached a record high $4.7 billion in revenue. The availability of studio space has failed to keep up with demand, though that concern was mitigated when content spend dropped last year. In March, the British government announced that it would raise financial incentives to further attract productions. Under the restructuring, films and high-end TV projects will get a 34% expenditure credit. The former model featured a 25% tax rebate. So Warner Brothers Discovery are making London the base of operations for DC Studios. Obviously the financial incentive to move to the UK was a big reason for the company making that decision, but I believe it also is a very interesting tell regarding their plans with DC. There have been a lot of upset DC fans who don't think the DCU will get past Superman Legacy, believing the studio will abandon James Gunn's plans after Legacy flops. This investment from Warner Bros. Discovery does not indicate that to me. In fact, to me, it looks like the opposite. It looks like Warner Bros. Discovery are furthering their efforts to make sure Gunn has what he needs to build his universe out. Now yes, Zaslav is obsessed with reducing that huge debt, but that will only allow DC Studios to create more projects. Zaslav has made DC their own studio, disconnected from the other parts of Warner Brothers Discovery. Sure, they are owned by Warner Brothers, but they won't be controlled by the film group executives. The co-heads directly report to Zaslav. So if DC Studios is now located in London, where they get 34% expenditure credit, Zaslav will love that. It means he will see that it is worth investing money into the DCU as they get a 34 expenditure credit on every project. I don't think Superman Legacy will be the make or break of the DCU. Unless it makes less than $100 million and is rejected by the majority of audiences, which I think is almost impossible. I think even if it doesn't make a profit, the DCU will keep going for a few more years whilst they build out their universe. If by let's say the 8th project everything is a flop, I can see them ditching it, but I doubt that will happen. Making England the home of the DCU is mutually beneficial. The UK makes 4,000 new jobs and DC Studios gets a great expenditure credit. Having all DC Studios projects being filmed in the same location could also be beneficial for any crossovers needed. Now I know the American based studios would also be filmed in the same studio space, but having all of DC Studios produced movies and shows being filmed in one location will help so much if actors are needed to film scenes for multiple movies or shows. 
shows. I know this isn't happening, but let's say Superman Legacy and Supergirl were filming at the same time. You could have David Cornsweet jump over from the Superman stage to the Supergirl stage to film a cameo and then head right back over to the Superman stage on the same day. It will be far easier to manage with every DC Studio project being filmed in the same location without having to worry about other non-DC projects taking up most of the sets. The construction will be complete in 2027, so four years from now. Which also means Zaslav does see the DCU being a long-term investment. He wouldn't be willing to invest the money into building the extra stages and moving DC Studios to England in 2027 if he had the whole DCU relying on Superman Legacy's box office performance. I believe this is a huge vote of confidence in the two co-heads of DC Studios. Now whether or not you trust Zaslav's judgement is up to you. But what I will say is that I don't just see the DCU being abandoned after Superman Legacy. I think it would be only abandoned if every project for the next 5 or 6 years flops and flops badly. Which I don't see happening either. So I think us DC fans should be excited that DC Studios is making the UK its home. So make sure to let me know what you think of this news in the comments below. But that is all for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. Please make sure to like and subscribe and turn on post notifications so you never miss a video. I hope to see you here again soon. So until then, have a great day. Bye.